a very warm and happy morning to all my dear students students as we all know we are near to our second unit test isn't it and we have started our revisions also so today also we will be discussing a new revision that is revision number 3 in our last two revisions in our first revision number 1 what we have learnt is about all the objectives we have discussed all the fill in the blanks match the following true or false okay and in our revision number 2 we have discussed our answer in one sentences and distinguished between the given the following so we have discussed these two in our revision number 1 and revision number 2 so today is our revision number 3 today we shall be discussing answer in brief and give reasons okay children so let's begin revision number 3 the first question we have answer in brief first one what would have happened if there had been no differences between mitochondria and plastids so what is the answer for it mitochondria and plastids are of two different structures and they have specific functions mitochondria are found in both plants and animals whereas plastids are found only in plants the main role of mitochondria is to provide energy to the cells for carrying out their various functions so if there would have been no difference between mitochondria and plastids there would have been no structure which would provide energy and thus all the processes which take place in the cell would cease understood let's see the next question question number 2 which are the industrial uses of acid answer acids are used in the production of chemical fertilizers acids are used in the production of explosives oil purification medicines dyes and paint third point hydrochloric acid is used for the preparation of different types of chloride salts so these are the industrial uses of acid moving to question number 3 explain by writing a word equation hard water gets softened on mixing with a solution of washing soda answer sodium carbonate that is na2co3 is also known as washing soda it can remove temporary and permanent hardness of water so sodium carbonate is soluble but calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate are insoluble the carbonate ions from sodium carbonate reacts with calcium and magnesium ions in the water to produce insoluble precipitate for example Ca2 plus aqueous that is water plus Na2CO3 it gives us CaCO3 plus 2Na so the water is softened because it no longer contains dissolved calcium ions and magnesium ions okay children understood moving ahead to the next question question number 
explain the functional correlation of circulatory system with respiratory digestive and excretory system answer the functional correlation between circulatory system with respiratory digestive and excretory system is as follows first point we already know that during respiration exchange of gases occurs in the lungs the respiratory system causes the diffusion of oxygen into blood and the diffusion of carbon dioxide out of the blood the oxygen is then transported to the cell of the body via the circulatory system okay so the digestive system is responsible for what for producing nutrients by breaking complex molecule into simpler ones the circulatory system then transports these nutrients to different cells and tissues and the excretory system is responsible for the elimination of waste products from the body these waste products are transported by blood to the excretory system so this is the answer the next question we have explain the importance and need of blood donation answer blood donation is one of the biggest donations of an individual towards their society blood loss can occur under circumstances of accidents during surgeries or in case of diseases which require transfusion of blood adequate amount of available blood can save many lives it does not harm or affect the body of the donor and the amount of blood which is donated is recovered within 24 hours this donated blood can be stored and used as and when re the requirement arises question number 2 give scientific reason first one human blood is red colored answer human blood is red in color due to the presence of the respiratory pigment hemoglobin hemoglobin is a pigment which is red in color and thus imparts red color to the blood okay children the next one we have question number 2 upward and downward movement of diaphragm occurs consecutively answer diaphragm is a muscular partition which is present between the thoracic cavity and abdominal cavity during the process of breathing the upward and downward movement of diaphragm occurs simultaneously when we inhale the rib rise up while the diaphragm lowers down simultaneously causing a decrease in the pressure on lungs this results in the moving of air into lungs through nose as the ribs return to their original position diaphragm rises up leading to the increase in pressure inside the lungs this results in moving of air outside the nose the next question number 3 we have person with o blood group is considered as universal donor answer person with o blood group is considered as 
universal donor because such an individual can donate blood to a person having any other blood group okay so a person with blood group o is considered as universal donor fourth one food must have limited amount of salts answer food must have limited amount of salts as we require limited amount of these in our body excessive salts in food can lead to accumulation of water in different parts of the body such as arms legs etc and lead to edema too much salt leads to increase in the blood pressure as well so we must have food which have limited amount of salts understood children question number 3 complete the following table here there are three columns in the first column we have the organ system that is respiratory and circulatory in the second columns is ab about the organs related to respiratory system and circulatory system and the third column is the function of those respiratory systems involved and the organs involved in them so let's study one by one the first we have respiratory system so the organs involved in respiratory system are nose pharynx windpipe lungs alveoli diaphragm okay so what is the function of them energy production this is the first function second cell needs the supply of soluble nutrients and oxygen so these are the functions the next organ system is circulatory system and the organs involved are heart which has four chamber are two atrium and two ventricles and blood vessels that is arteries veins and capillaries so what is the function here children circulatory system performs function of transport of various substances like H2O that is water hormones oxygen indip it is the independent organ for blood circulation so these are the functions of circulatory system i hope you all must have understood today's revision children what we have discussed today we have discussed all about the answer in brief give reason and also we have discussed the organ system and organs related to them and their function so these were the topics in our revision number 3 got it children i wish all my dear students a good luck for their exam study hard keep calm and prepare for your exam okay children i know you all can do it just refer this revision go through the revision thoroughly and write your exam it will really help you to increase your grades okay children so once again i say you all good luck thank you children